All right, we're out here. Let's do this. There we go. That's what we're looking for. It's a pretty decent one. All right. Mission accomplished. This guy's jazzed up. It's pretty light colored. Pretty cool. All right. Pretty nice paintbrush. Da Vinci. Might be keeping this one. That thing's nice. I'm gonna keep that. Put that in my bag of tricks. Well, you know it's a bad day when I'm just aimlessly picking up trash and throwing it in my magic bag. A lot of uh, sand fleas around. Maybe we do a sand flea catch and cook. Got that gulp. Got that gulp, nuclear chicken. You know, whoa, whoa, that was a close one. A lot of people fluking over to my right. Oh, now there's a party boat hopping on this spot. It's right over there. All right. Maybe I've chosen the right area. We shall see. Oh, he blew his horn. Get a little toot toot. Maybe I'll hop on that spot once they're done. Once they're done partying around. That was probably the move today. Hop on the party boat. That probably would have been a good idea. Freaking east wind, man. It's my least favorite wind. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna throw some bucktails. Maybe I could do a video about this rod. Really like this rod. Or I could do a sand flea video. Sand flea catch and cook viral video. Kayaker right over there too. Wow, everyone's here. Everyone's here to party. I always try and get a shot of the ghost crabs, but they're so elusive. Like there's a couple over here, but I won't be able to get the GoPro close enough to them. These are their holes right here. This little ghost crab hole. They're pretty cool looking. over here keep working our way there's so many people fluking over here Feels pretty good actually. Feels like maybe a sea robin. Could be it. Nah, no, it's a sea robin. It's a sea robin. I think. I'm really not sure. It's not tugging like a fluke. Oh no, it's a sundial. 
Nice. Should have kept the other one. We could have had multiple sundials. That's fun. At least we're not getting skunked. This video will probably never see the light of day. Maybe we'll put it out in the winter time or something. Nice winter video. Oh, look at that guy. He shot off like a rocket. That's fun. On this nuclear chicken kind of morning. There we go. This feels like a big old sea robin. Feels good, whatever it is. I think it's a sea robin, but I'm not sure. It's pretty good. Whatever this is. It's pretty big. I think this is a big fluke, actually. Having trouble getting it in. Stay tight. Could be a big robin. It's pretty good, whatever this is. No, it's a fluke. No, it's a sundial. Man, I should be keeping these sundials. It's just a snagged one, though. Because that one's pretty big. That one's pretty big. I'm going to keep one. We're going to do a sundial catch and cook. Why not? These things are freaking delicious. I feel like I'm going to catch a bunch of them, too, because there's a lot of them around. These taste better than fluke, in my opinion. And if there's a bunch of them around, watch, I'm just gonna jinx myself. But if there's a bunch of these guys around, I mean, might as well keep them. I'm gonna grab a bag. Maybe move my bike over here so it's not a million miles away. I'm out here keeping undersized sundials. Oh! I got another one. This one's tiny. Look how small that guy is. I'm still keeping them. There's no size limit on these guys. No limit. I'm trying to make like a sundial bacon, egg, and cheese or something. So I'm going to keep stacking these guys up. You say what you want, but... You can keep these guys, as many of these things as you want. I'm trying to make a little sandwich or something. Maybe a sundial cutlet. Sundial something. I mean, if there's a bunch of them around, you might as well. Ain't no fluke around. This video is going to air in February anyways. Just one more sundial to complete. That would be great. Bluefish over to my left. They're out of casting range, but there's a lot of them. Not really feeling the blues this year. Be our sundial. This might be our sundial. I think this is him. It's either that or a fluke. I can't tell. Now it kind of feels like a robin. And this might be our, our magic sundial to complete our task. Yep, nice, we did it, we got three of them. We completed our sundial task. I think I got five today, but I threw the other ones back because I wasn't planning on keeping them. Let's see if we can get more. Oh, Let's see if we can get more of these tiny little sundials, these undersized sundials. 
deep fry these guys in my dirty, dirty, uh, dirty oil that I have at home. Staring out there at Marilyn Jean. Oh, water's coming up now. Oh, it's a tiny little fluke. Just barely holding on. Look at you. Look at this little guy. A little mini fluke. Just grabbing onto that gulp. You'll get bigger, don't worry, buddy. I'm staring at the Marilyn Jean right now. The blue's never pushed in. They're like just out of casting range right now. But I'm gonna go get a hot dog and then uh, eat these uh, sundials. Yeah, screw this day. I'm out. What is this? Samsung phone. Samsung flip phone. Might as well just add it to my, my trash. My trash boots. So now I've got a, a Samsung flip phone and someone's uh, trash. Trash boots. Is he? Oh. Oh, 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 he's bringing up his pinches. He's bringing up his pinches. Oh, oh, oh. See ya. What they do is they hide in the water and they swim right back out. Probably shouldn't have chased him. It's kind of messed up. I'm being a bad boy today. Well, I fell asleep. And I've got these uh, delicious sundials here. I can't believe I kept these small sundials. That's how you know I'm pretty broke right now. Yeah, I just woke up from a little nap. Didn't sleep last night. I've really been trying to go all in on this fishing thing, even though this video will probably air in February. Uh, but uh, yeah, I figure uh, since I don't have very much sundials here, that I'm gonna eat these rabbits. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna eat the rabbits. But I've got three little little sundials here. It's enough for a meal. I think I'm gonna fry them up. I've got them sitting in a salt brine right now. Basically, I take the sea salt, fill it up, and stir it around and make a little salt water bath. And um, I didn't have any ice, so it's a nice way to, one, stiffen up the meat and also to kill the bacteria um that could have you know i had it off ice for a few hours so but they still smell great um it's kind of like what's it called like the baby cows when you eat the baby cows like the veal or whatever but let me set up the cutting board uh whip out the bubba knife and i'll show you how i fillet them and then i'll get my two week old um oil that i've been Frying lots of fish in for two weeks straight. I mean, it was really gross and old. All right, so we'll set our garbage can up over here for our carcasses. And uh, maybe I'll just fillet up on camera this uh, big guy first so you can get a better visual. But I really like Sundial. I've come to like it more than Fluke. Just letting all these uh, gooiness get off. It's a lot of goo. It's a lot of goo on this guy. That is a lot of goo. Wow, that is a lot of goo. I'm going to need some more paper towel. Because I don't think I'm going to take the skin off this time. I think I'm gonna leave it on. I've eaten it with the skin a few times. I thought it was pretty good. So, just to make it easier to fillet here, I'm gonna grab some more paper towel. Oh, this video is a mess. Wipe this guy down a little bit. Just get all that sticky slime off. It'll make it easier to fillet. I doubt anybody's watching at this point, so who even cares? But, yeah, try and get all that gooiness off. 
They can get quite gooey. Wipe all that goo off. And then throw it down here. Am I still rolling? Yeah, I'm still rolling. And so what I like to do is start. Oh, he's got a paper towel on him. Find the rib line. Where is it right here? Go straight down the back. Make sure you get a very dull knife. Make a little incision there. This guy still has his guts in him. So it goes straight down the back like that. And then I'm trying to feel for his uh, his spine, which I think is right here. There we go. And it's just like any other flounder. Just, just gotta be kind of uh, delicate with these guys to be able to get as much meat off as possible and just kind of go along the spine like so. You kind of pull back with your finger and work your knife out. You can see it's really nice meat. Kind of work your knife out, make sure to cut towards yourself. And there you go. Got our first fillet there. It's not a bad amount of meat. You can see, got as much out as we could. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Find the spine. I think it's called the spine. Whatever the bone is right in the middle. Just work your way along it. Oh. Don't gotta be perfect. the hell even is this video? This video is terrible. But yeah, the salt brine really helps a lot. Make sure to cut towards yourself. And that's its guts right there, so you don't want to cut into that. Make a little cut right there. Cut around the guts. And that's the second fillet there. See, these are his guts right here, so... We got off a good amount. Probably could have done a little better. Flip it over to the other side. Same thing. Find that. I think it's called the spine. Whatever the bone is right in the middle. Make an incision. Right down the middle. Use a very, very dull knife. Dullest knife you can find. 
Yeah, maybe don't do that. But yeah, make it make another incision. Guy's got a decent amount of meat on the bottom. Usually they don't have this much meat on the bottom. It's usually more on the top. This guy's got a decent amount of meat. There you go, that's the bottom filet. And then we got one more filet. Right here. Let's try and find that bone. Still trying to find the bone. Might just need to make another cut. Oh, there we go. I got it. Definitely a tough fish to fillet, that's for sure. It's just not that much meat on it, but you can get some off. Don't doubt yourself. And I promise you, these are more delicious than Fluke. I don't care what anybody says. Sundial's better. Sundial's better than Fluke. Underrated. Problem is, they're so small. That's the only problem. But other than that problem, they're freaking delicious. And there you go. Got the sundial filet. I got off as much as I could. This is what you're left with. You got one. I mean, it's not bad. Decent amount of meat. I mean, that's enough for a meal right there. I just eat it with the with the skin on it. And yeah, pretty easy. So I'm going to fillet up the rest of these guys over here. And then we'll uh, put them in the deep fryer and do a taste test. It's pretty good. I mean, you can see it's a decent amount of meat. I think it's worth it. 
So yeah, let's fry up our uh, sundial here. This is all edible, no bones or anything. I think it's worth it. <clears throat> all right, let's see how bad this is. Eh, it's not bad. Got some porgy chunks in it. But that'll be all right. I could pull that out with the strainer. I just leave the same. Yeah, those are porgy scales. Eating a lot of porgy lately. Yeah, get this hot. Get this nice and hot. Should be enough oil. Chop masala goes good on everything. It's an Indian spice. All right, and in the fryer she goes. Probably get it a little hotter, but that'll be fine. Everything's fine. Cooks pretty fast. You don't gotta leave them in there for too long. I think this is done. Looks like uh, little pork rinds. Put those over there. So, is it worth it to keep sundials? I think definitely. It definitely is. I mean, I would say like five is probably for one person, the magic number, five like decent sized ones. But, I don't know. It's a nice snack right here. I mean, if you had it with like some pasta or something, it's a nice meal. Look like little, uh, nice little nuggets. So let's do, a, let's do a taste test. All right, let's do a little taste test here. So I definitely think it's worth it to, to keep the sundials. I mean, I've had it a couple of times already and I think it tastes better than Fluke. I think it tastes better than Porgy's. 
So if you can get, you know, sometimes it's tough to get four or five of them. They just kind of show up randomly. But if you can get, you know, four or five for one person, that's a nice meal. And it tastes better than fluke. I think they taste better than most flounder, to be honest with you. But we'll do a little taste test just for the video. It's friggin' delicious. It's like the, it's like the baby cow of flounder. I mean, what's it called? Veal or something? I don't know. I don't eat beef. Um, but it's delicious. And not that hard to fillet. You can see the meat is clean and white. It's delicious. I mean, it's better than trout. Better than... Fluke, better than Porgy. It's pretty delicious, to be honest with you. So yeah, it's a nice tree every once in a while. And there's no regulation on them, so might as well. I mean, if someone wants to start regulating them, that's cool, but it's pretty rare to like get on a, like a solid sundial bite. So, you know, it's kind of like catching uh, the stargazer, or the oyster toadfish. It's just kind of random, like you catch one here and there. But look at how clean that meat is. It's so good. Great on like a pasta dish, or I'm gonna eat it with some sriracha mayo. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, not sure why I'm gonna air this video, but it's kind of a dud in my opinion. Maybe it's interesting to someone, I don't really know. But thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.